Today for Mousetrap Monday, I have something completely different to show you. There are so many ways to deal with a rodent problem. You can use live catch traps and relocate the animals. There are thousands of different kill traps that work via snapping, crushing, choking, impaling, shooting, drowning, electrocuting, catching in sticky traps, and more. One of the most effective ways is poison. It's not my favorite way. I don't like having poison around pets, kids, and wildlife, but it definitely works at controlling a rodent population. There's also deterrence, a huge number of products that work with light, sound, and smell. But what I have here is something completely different. This is mouse birth control. It's called contraceptal and it's made out of a mixture of natural herbs that they say reduces fertility in mice. Some of these herbs, such as stone root, have traditionally been used by Native American tribes as a contraceptive, so I have no idea if this works. I suppose they've done extensive testing. They claim that trapping alone only reduces the mouse population by 10%, but using this product properly, they say will reduce it by 96%. That's a pretty bold claim. When you buy this, it contains a pack of mouse birth control and a feeding station. It's a simple Tupperware with a hole in the side. So let's open up this foil bag and see what it looks like. Just rip off the top. It's sealed for freshness and it's a white powder with some green flecks in it. Now our feeding station has a lid that snaps on. We'll take that off. In the middle is a little bowl. We'll fill that up with the mouse birth control. We'll let our pet mice in, see what they think of it. Then we'll go set it up in the barn with motion cameras and see if the wild mice will eat the mouse birth control. First we'll add our female mouse, see if she likes the birth control. Her nose is really going, she's wondering what that smell is. Now we'll add the male mouse. I'm going to have to separate these two before anything happens. They seem interested in the smell. Let's go set this up in the barn with wild mice, see if they visit the feeding station and eat the birth control. I don't know if this contraceptive mouse birth control actually works and makes mice infertile, but what I can tell you is mice love the white powder. Last night we set up the feeding station in the barn. If you lift off the lid, everything's completely gone. The only thing left is some mouse poop. One of the reasons why I think it's so attractive to mice is it contains mouse pheromones. They have a strong sense of smell and were clearly drawn into the feeding station. I don't know about the idea of mouse birth control. It is a humane way, it will reduce the population, but mice can live over a year. So if you use this, you'll have mice running around for a long time before they die of natural causes. So I'm gonna keep using the traps, but I definitely think that this is valuable. What I'm gonna start doing is mixing this with peanut butter and using it as bait in the trap. We'll see if that improves our trapping success. A lot of people have requested alternatives for mouse traps. This is one of them. I'm also gonna start testing out some of the other products that use light, sound, and smell. I'm posting between four and five rodent trap videos a week. So if you want to see how to deter or catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned. And check out our Mouse Trap Monday app if you want to be the first to get notifications on when I post new videos. It's free and it's a great way to stay connected to my channel.